We all know that children and young people with special educational needs or who are disabled should be able to reach their full potential in school. They should also be supported to make a successful transition into adulthood, whether into employment, further or higher education or training. So, this year, the Government is introducing major changes in the way that children with special educational needs or disability and their families are supported. These changes will mean better life outcomes for our young people, more power for their families, and better information for them and everyone working with them. To make all this happen, lots of things have to change. Here are a few examples of what some of these changes will mean across Dorset, Bournemouth and Poole. Work is taking place with parents, children and young people to create an easy to use local offer of information. The local offer will enable families to find out everything they need to know about services, support, advice and eligibility all in one place. The support system for children and young people with SEN is very complex, with teachers, health workers and social care workers often operating separately to meet the particular needs of a child or young person. So, statements of special educational needs and healthcare plans will be replaced by just one single plan. This will be called an Education Health and Care Plan, EHC for short and will apply from birth to 25 years of age. To help everyone understand the new laws and what professionals should be doing, the Government is publishing a new Special Educational Needs Code of Practice. Where there is an Educational Health and Care Plan, parents and young people will have the option of receiving a personal budget. This can give families and young people more control over their support arrangements and give them more choice regarding service providers. The local authorities and health services are working together to jointly arrange education, health and social care. The important thing about all these changes is that children and young people with special educational needs and their families are listened to and their thoughts and opinions are taken into account. This includes involving them in decision making about how much support and what type of support they get. These reforms and changes are complicated, so to make them work for local families, the three authorities, Dorset, Bournemouth, Poole and the NHS Dorset Clinical Commissioning Group are working together wherever they can to create consistency across the region. In particular, they are working to ensure that children with SEN are identified early and supported quickly that parents know what they can expect from local schools, colleges, local authorities and NHS services. That relevant staff have the right knowledge, understanding and skills. And that aspirations for children and young people are raised by focusing on achievements and wider life outcomes. All in all, the results will mean less bureaucracy, friendlier advice, more choice and more control through a person-centred approach. These changes will take time and lots of work will be going on behind the scenes. Nevertheless, some of the reforms will be starting in September. The voices of parents and young people are essential in all of this. The local parent forums Dorset Parent Carer Council, Pool Packs Forum and the Bournemouth Parent Carer Forum are all heavily involved in these reforms, talking to the families, to the local authorities and to the health professionals involved. They are working to make sure the views of parents are heard and taken into account. If you haven't joined your local forum yet, this is a good time and a good reason to do so. To let them know what you think and to keep you up to date on what is happening. Also, don't forget, you can receive regular news and updates through the exchange with website news and regular e-newsletters for members.
Reforms are coming. The government say they want to remove the problems that prevent children and young people with special educational needs or who are disabled from getting the support and services they need. Across Dorset, we are working in partnership to achieve this and to make sure our children and our young people have the same opportunities as everyone else.